our southern counties, again, right around the Plymouth area right now. We're now going full screen because this is what we're tracking. Argus to around the Bourbon area is where we're seeing the strongest wind gust right now, right along this front line. I'm highlighting this area right here, Argus, Plymouth, even up towards Napanee. But the severe weather right now is right along this line, Argus down to Bourbon, further south across the southern edge of Marshall County as well, the northern edge of Fulton County, but uh, Kosciuszko County and Marshall, northeastern Fulton County, under a severe thunderstorm warning for this storm right now. You can see this is now just entering Kosciuszko County, so moving from Bourbon on into portions of Kosciuszko County right now. I'm going to go back and we're going to look at those wind gusts right again with the velocity scope tool. At least right now, again, going down to street level, going to go back it out here real quick. We'll back things out for you real quick. And again, what we're seeing down at street level, Bourbon, the Etna Green area, this is where this storm is now entering, traveling right down US 30. That's this red line right here, right towards Plymouth. So this is traveling pretty much diagonally along the US 30 corridor. There's Mentone, Warsaw, North Webster. All this is part of this box right here, which is a severe thunderstorm. Morning. So we already have at least some reports out of the Plymouth area of possibly storm damage. If you have any more, make sure you're contacting that number at the bottom of your screen. We're waiting to hear from you. Culver also, again, seeing these storm, but it's the leading edge right now. This storm is what we're tracking at least right now. Possibly some severe weather now moving through the Mentone area right now. Take a look at this velocity scope tool, and here's what we're going to ID. There we go. And so what we're IDing at least right here, these areas of green, this is storm moving towards the radar. So I'm going to ID this for you. We're not seeing any rotation with this. These are all straight line winds, which is pretty typical in this type of storm system right now. But you can see at least radar estimated wind around 20, 30, gusts possibly up to around 60 miles per hour. Here are the latest reports coming in right now. Out of Elkhart, pea-sized hail, 40 mile per hour winds. Culver area, pea-sized hail, Winnemac, Power lines are down. That's back into Pulaski County. We'll take a look at that right now. Kiwana, that's in Fulton County. 50 mile, 55 mile per hour wind gusts, trees and power lines down. Across Marshall County, heavy rain, reports of trees and power lines down. And this weather out of Marshall County now moving into portions of Kosciuszko County. So again, if you live in the Warsaw area towards Etna Green, Take cover now. You want to make sure you're at least indoors and taking a steady shelter because there is some gusty wind headed your way right now. I'm going to put down this piece of paper. We're going to go back to tracking some of these storms across the area. And again, clearing off this information right now, we'll clear off that velocity scope and we're going to continue to track some of these storms across the area. The Bourbon area right now has not reached Warsaw, has not reached Leesburg, but this is that severe thunderstorm. This is the line that we're watching right now. We'll back things out here and take a little wider look across the area and what we're still watching. Again, the severe thunderstorm warning still including mostly just Marshall County and Kosciuszko County, but you see the leading line right now around the Winnemac area we're reporting some power lines down. This is the area of red. This is still some heavy rain, and around this, there are at least some gusty winds. So Monterey included in this, Culver. This box includes all the way down, now Rochester under that other warning. It's this leading line of strong storms that's producing the most damage right now. On the back side, you're just seeing some heavy, heavy, but steady rainfall across Michiana.